Okay, I believe everything is set up. <sighs> okay, don't be nervous. Don't be nervous. Oh, my sweet, you're already up. And making breakfast. Yeah, that's true. Since you've been going on hunts with me, I do wake you up pretty early. Yeah, I'm fine. Just, uh, thinking about uh, stuff. Um, after breakfast, I would like to take you somewhere. <laughs> no, we have enough food for the winter, so missing one day of hunting won't hurt. It's a surprise. But I do hope you like it. Right. We should eat, then get going. No, I already packed everything for the trip. Raph has everything and has been waiting like a good boy. Haven't you, boy? <laughs> yeah, let's get going. <laughs> no, nothing is bothering me. I'm just overthinking. Sorry for worrying you. I did want to tell you something, though. It's basically a story, but a story about me. You know how I told you about my friend that I lost long ago? Yeah, she was also a human. She was the only human besides you and Nami who wanted to be around me. Believe it or not, I was the weakest orc in the village. And the other orcs loved to pick on me and show that they were stronger than me. Because of that, I wanted to be around other creatures. But I realized quickly that a lot of the other creatures don't like orcs because we are scary or we have a bad reputation. So making friends was very hard for me. I did have my family, and my siblings did chase away the loneliness, but I still wanted a friend that, you know, wasn't my family. Then one day when I was watching my older brother train in the forest, I heard something. I didn't know what it was, so I followed the sound. When I found the source, there was a little girl that was trying to get a scarf out of the tree. <laughs> She was so tiny and couldn't grab it, and she was struggling. I don't know if I made a noise or she saw me out of the corner of her eye, but we made eye contact and she pointed to the scarf and asked me if I can get it for her. It took me off guard that she didn't run away like other human children would do, but I walked up to the tree and I was able to get the scarf for her. And. She gave me the biggest smile and thanked me so many times that it was getting ridiculous. But I was happy that someone smiled at me without it being forced. And after that day, we were inseparable. You wouldn't see me without her and vice versa. Of course, her parents didn't like that her best friend was an orc, but they eventually got over it after they realized that I could protect her. Or thought I could. <clears throat> As we were growing up, I realized that she has a lot of people in the village who wanted her and be her partner. However, when they realized that her friend was an orc, they immediately lost interest. I told her if I was keeping her from being happy, then I was okay with us not being friends. She didn't like that I said that and said without hesitation that if her partner doesn't like me for just being an orc, then they don't deserve her. <laughs> that was the sweetest thing anyone could say to me. She was a very precious person in my life. And we had a hideout that we would like to go to. And we only knew about it. And I wanted to share it with you. Yeah, this clearing over here. Careful not to hit your head on the branches. Yeah, it's pretty, isn't it? When we were running around in the woods, we stumbled upon it. And it's very deep in the woods that no one comes here, so it was the best place for us to hide when life was getting to us. Come over here. 
Yeah, there's a patch of soft grass that we can lay on. Of course there are blankets and some pillows around here. I came here earlier this morning to put them there. <laughs> it's okay, it wasn't that big of a deal. Don't worry. And I got something for us to eat later if you get hungry. <sighs> but there was a main reason why I brought you here. <clears throat> As I said before, my friend had a lot of people wanting to be with her. And of course, I got a little jealous, thinking that no one would want me like how they wanted her. Yes, I know, let me finish. I told her how I felt about it, and she told me that I would find someone. Someone who loves me for me, and doesn't fear me for being an orc. Someone who wants to protect me as much as I want to protect them. And when I find that person, to make sure I never let them go. So, um, sweetness? Would you be mine forever? What do you think it is? They're matching rings. Isn't this what humans give each other when they want to be together on another level? Or did Nami lie to me and I'm looking stupid right now? Uh, if that's what you call it, then yes. I'm asking you to marry me. Uh, if you will have me. Yes? Oh, thank gods. I was so worried that... Oh, wow. <laughs> I didn't think you would be this happy. Well, I didn't exactly know what you were going to say. Whatever your answer was, I was going to respect it either way. Of course the ring fits. I did ask Nami to figure out your ring size while you were training with her. <sighs> I'm going to pretend that I didn't hear that Nami was holding your hand for a very long t time j and said it was for training purposes because she did me a huge favor and I won't let it get to me. But I will tell her partner and make them turn her into a cat. I'm joking. Uh, mostly. But seriously though, I'm so happy that you said yes. I've never been so happy in my life and you make me feel so content and happy to be me and I think Raph loves you more than me so you gotta stay now or you will break his fluffy heart <laughs> oh what happened to my friend <sighs> um though it has been 16 years since her death it still takes me a while to put myself together to talk about it. And I want this to be a happy moment. Okay? But I will tell you one day. Just not right now. Thank you. <laughs> That's another thing I love about you. Is that you're so understanding. <laughs> mm, this is nice. I'm glad Nami suggested this. The orc way of getting a partner is much more aggressive. Oh, if an orc wants to marry another orc, the one who asked would have to defeat everyone in their partner's family. Yeah, it shows that they could protect the one they love. My mother had 12 brothers and 8 sisters, so it took my father roughly 2 weeks to defeat all of them. Which is impressive, because most times it takes like two months to defeat family that big. But my father is pretty cool. <laughs> oh, don't get me wrong, my sweet. You are strong. But you would have had to defeat my mom, dad, my two brothers, and my little sister. And I love you so much that I don't want you broken. <laughs> but I'm happy to hear that you would fight my whole family for me. I really appreciate it.
<laughs> Can you lay on my chest? I do love it when you snuggle up on me. Hmm? Yeah, we can start talking about the ceremony we want to have. To be fair, it's all up to you. It can be big or small as you want. As long as I have you, that's all I care about. Oh, that's right. You need to meet my family. Oh boy. Oh, you need to meet my family. Oh boy. That's going to be fun. <laughs>